Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice me up. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. Do you want to? I'd like that. Now, let's find that infernal iron before I overheat. gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. This isn't Elturel, and I'm not responsible for every damn tiefling in the world! Just be responsible for yourself, then. We have to stay. It's the right thing to do. Zerg! Fine. We'll stay. If we survive, it'll make for a good story, I suppose. Thank you, Roland. Don't be grumpy, Roland. That stench. Dead owlbear prey, no doubt. Feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owl bear, its beaked face looming out of the darkness. Albert's one good eye flicks away for a moment. You follow its glance, 
and see an owlbear cub. The owlbear stares, then sharply inhales your scent. It sits back, its eyes still fixed on you. A silent ultimatum. You can leave now, or step closer and die. Lost in thought. <clears throat> what to do? My condition is worsening again. I need to consume some powerful magic or it may become volatile. Strange experience. Each time anew, I curl. Lost soul is spelunking through the darkness that is me, only to be sacrificed on the dread altar of the heart. But this doesn't feel quite right. I mean, it never feels right, but it relieves. This doesn't relieve. Oh. Mm. You do plenty for me, more than you realize. But this cannot be remedied. <clears throat> the magic isn't having the effect it should have. It's not like the last time, like a rainstorm that quells a forest fire. It merely drizzles. The embers still sizzle. The fire remains undefeated. I'm not certain what's going on, but nothing good. Please, I need to think. I need to. Retrace my steps to a glade of calm and think. Thank you for the artifact. A great deal of trouble it was, too. A great deal of trouble, indeed. Whatever killed those gnolls might be nearby. Careful.
please. No more. Leave us in peace, and we shall leave you in kind. Cut the crap, Anders. I know what you are. Don't let her hurt us. Please. We just want to go home. There's something in the squint of his eye. You suspect he's lying. Enough! Enough! I'll not play pretend anymore, Karlak. You're going home in pieces if needs must. And you, you'll soon learn what it means to ally yourself with the likes of this garbage. Avernus was never my home. It was my prison. I'm free now. And I'm never going back! Could we follow, baby?
<laughs> Need to learn the hard way. I won't go back. I'm never coming back. And if any of Mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others left off, they'll find nothing but a pile of ash. That's right, she won't. She can't. She couldn't even... Met. However, for reasons that you may rest assured that I'd, I trust I've made myself clear. I have upon my deceased person a magical item that can accomplish my... Re I will now explain the... Step one is to retrieve... Next, inside, starting from the bottom, upon... Com this is ignorant for what is my... Pronounce the words will now appear on the letter's surface, effectively turning the letter into a scroll of excellent. Now repeat my instructions back to me, please. In that case, this will be an easy exercise. Step one. Have it your best of luck. My hands are still cold, so that handshake will have to wait, but in the meantime... Thank you. Oh... It's 
a relief to be back on beautiful Faerun. The dreariness of the fugue plane oppresses one's soul so very quickly. That said, I assume you have some questions for me. Only fair to warn you I have precious few answers to spare. I apologize if that sounds thankless, it's just that some secrets simply cannot be revealed. I did say that, and I did mean it. And I do suppose that after all you've done for me, I should be at least a little bit forthcoming. Tell you what, I will answer one question that you may have, to the best of my ability, if I can. I am dangerous. Not because I want to be, but because of an error I made in the past. It makes me dangerous, even in death. You brought me back to life, and for that I am in your debt. I was surrounded by danger. It could happen again. If it does, bring me back again. You must, for the sake of many. Felt good letting off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. Granted, the fire lasted a little longer than it should. Careful, soldier. If I burn any hotter, I might explode. Engine heats up the whole system enough not to get burned. Hopefully, it will hold together long enough to get tuned up. Let's move, eh? I'm running high and in the mood for a fight. Hmm. to be alive. for your thoughts.
Let's hope Damon is as good as he seems. Once my engine's handled, I can focus on more important matters. Tadpoles, cults, frosty pints. Why not? Let me see if I can paint you a picture. The year, ten air. The place, a sleepy little town called Baldur's Gate. Our hero, Karlak, a knock-kneed delinquent from the outer city with everything to give and nothing to lose. I was a kid looking for a way to fill my days and make some cash when I fell into the wrong crowd. Worked for a guy I respected. A lot. Turns out the feeling wasn't mutual. Through the jigs and the reels, he made a deal with Zariel behind my back. You know Zariel, right? Archdevil of Avernus. She put this thing in my chest and set me to work. But well, to war. I learned quick how to stay alive. And the engine served me when it came to killing devils. Ten years of that. The stories I could tell. I'll meet out the best ones, bit by bit, so you always have a reason to keep me around. Clever, right? Guy named Gortash. Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler-dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job. A good job. With people I liked, doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, to feel so invincible again. It wasn't all that long ago. I never knew the whole of how and why, but I remember the devil slavering with delight. <sighs> I should have looked after the Elterans more. Gone out of my way to make sure they were all right. The long and short of it was, I didn't want to risk my neck. I let them get on with the nightmare, same as I had to. But Avernus is no place for decent folk. I'm glad they got out. So glad. <laughs> 